Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 32nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out some dictionary functions and uh, the first method that we're going to have a look at is the length function again and we're going to see how it works with dictionaries. So I have to create a dictionary first and uh, you know just to refresh your memory you create a dictionary by using curly braces in Python, right? So let's say I want to call my dictionary movies, I'll type in movies and then the assignment operator and within curly braces I can you know just have key value relations you know content that I want my dictionary to hold so let's say I want to have ear values as keys and I want to have uh, you know movies that release in those ears as values so let's say I want to have 1994 as a key and uh, you know uh, a movie that released in 1994 uh, Pulp Fiction right so I'll type in Pulp Fiction there and uh, then let's say I want to have another key value relationship so I'll put in a comma here and uh, I'll type in 1997 and uh, a movie that released in 1997 7 I guess released in 1997 so I'll type in that and uh, then let's say you want to have uh, 2000 as uh, a key and a movie that released in the year 2000 my favorite was cast away but actually there's a very tough call to make between Castaway and gladiator but I'll, I think I'll still go with Castaway. And uh, then let's say you want to have 2006 as a key and my favorite movie that year, well, it was obviously Blood Diamond for me. So I'll type in that and uh, then I'll press the enter key to create my dictionary, right? So it's there now. I can see the contents by simply typing in the name of the dictionary and pressing the enter key. So there we go. I have 2000, Cast Away, 994, Pulp Fiction, 997, 7, 2006, Blood Diamond, right? And uh, the elements are returned or the key value relationships are returned in a random order always. And uh, now let's say I wish to find out the number of elements that I have or the number of key value relationships that I have in this dictionary. I'll type in len and within parentheses pass the name of my dictionary and I get the result as four. So the best way in which you can describe this result is by saying that there are four key value associations or key value relationships in this dictionary and you could also say that there are four keys or there are four values but you know as I said the best way to describe this is that there are four key value associations and uh, we can also just check out the keys in the dictionary and we know how to do this we use the keys method and we've checked this out earlier in the course but you know again I'll refresh your memory so movies and uh, then put in a dot and then keys and empty parentheses. So I just see the keys now 2000, 994, 997, and 2006, right? And uh, then let's say I just want to see the values, right? So I'll type in uh, movies and then values after a dot and then empty parentheses. And there we go. This time we just see the values. So Castaway, Pulp Fiction, Seven, and Blood Diamond. Now, let's say you want to add some, uh, you know, more keys and some more values to your dictionary. And let's say there's another dictionary that has some key value associations and you want to add the contents of the second dictionary to your movies dictionary. So let's create another dictionary first and I'll call this new. And, uh, you know, again, I'll use curly braces and let's say I want to add the key 1972 to it and, uh, you know, a movie that released that year, The Godfather, right? So I type in that. And let's say I want to have 1980 as a key and a movie that released that year, Raging Bull. And again, I'll put in a comma and have one more key value association, 2004, and a movie that released that year, The Aviator. Okay. And uh, I'll press the enter key to create my dictionary. I can check out the contents by simply typing the name and pressing the enter key, 980, Raging Bull. 1972 the godfather 2004 the aviator so let's say i want to add these three key value associations to my dictionary movies i do that by typing in the name of my first dictionary or the target destination dictionary whatever you want to call it follow that up with a dot and then the name of the function update and within parentheses pass in the name of uh, the dictionary the contents of which you want to add to the movies dictionary so that in this case is new and when i press the enter key and check out the contents of movies now i see that it has you know these values 2000 cast away and 2006 blood diamond it has uh, you know pulp fiction and it has seven but it also has 1972 the godfather it has 1980 the raging bull and it also has 2004 the aviator so the contents of the dictionary new have been added to the contents of the dictionary movies 
the last method that we're going to check out in this tutorial and uh, in this course about dictionaries is uh, the clear method and this method is used to clear the contents of a dictionary so if i use it with the movies method i'll type in movies and then the name of the function clear and press the enter key after a pair of empty parentheses and now if i check out the contents of movies i see that I get a pair of curly braces, but I don't see any content. And that's because all the contents have been erased, right? So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out something interesting again about Python. And uh, I hope you guys are having a good time programming in Python. And it's such an interesting language. You can never get bored of it. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and happy programming.